Crosstalk is one of the more common issues you'll see on a printed circuit board. In Hyperlink's board sim, you can simulate a whole bunch of nets in batch mode or just an individual net uh, interactively. With the trace coupling turned on, when I select an individual net, it'll also include any aggressors that are coupled through the electrical thresholds, which can be in terms of voltage or simple geometries. If we take a look at the cross sections that are causing issues by highlighting the coupling regions, we can see where in the layout our greatest problems are. Uh, for instance, on this net, there's this long 1.3 inch section with very closely coupled traces, so basically just uh, four mil spacing. And as we step through, we can see that there are shorter sections along the route that are also contributing to coupling and crosstalk. So if we run a simulation, we'll be able to see that on this particular net, there are very high levels of far end crosstalk. So if we take a look at that, it's sitting at around 315 millivolts. In order to identify a solution to that crosstalk problem, we can export to LineSim for further exploration. Once in LineSim, we can see all the different coupled sections and grab the ones that are causing the biggest issues and try and modify them to see if there's a significant reduction in crosstalk. Here we can see this problem area where we have all these five closely coupled traces and you can actually visualize the EM coupling if you want to. You can also run through some sweeps to see if we can alleviate the issues. So if we go to the coupling regions here, select our coupling region of interest, we can go in here and change these separations to see if we can fix the issue. So I'm going to go with a range from the existing separation all the way up to 20 mils in increments of 4 mils. And then I'm going to copy that range and paste it as a lock to all the rest of the couplings. That way we can sweep all of them at once. And if I re-simulate with those different spacings on that 1.3 inch section, I'll be able to see the effect of increased spacing on reducing the crosstalk. And if I zoom in to my crosstalk waveform here, I can see that initially I'm at that 315 millivolts, but doubling the spacing gets me down to under 200 millivolts. And if I go to three times the spacing, I get down to around 150 millivolts, and then even further I can get closer to 100 millivolts. And that was just by increasing the spacing in that one 1 1.3 section. I can also examine the effects of increasing the spacing on the other sections as well. And so that's a great way to post route, uh, figure out how to solve a crosstalk issue.